devour, devour. I have to warn everyone, warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Welcome to a very special Halloween edition of Feasting with the King. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> Today we're doing something fun and special for sure. Today we are doing Mediterranean cuisine as voted on by my viewing audience. What, what should we start with? I don't even know. I'll tell you what we're going to start with. Something that's really weird. It's called La Macoon. This is supposed to be Mediterranean-style pizza. And you might say, well, what the hell does that look like? It looks like this. Look at that. Look at the color changing. It's amazing. It changes colors on the fly. No, that's my camera struggling because right now the sun is going down outside. So my camera is struggling to go through daylight mode and, and artificial light mode. And it's changing the colors on the fly. It's flatbread. Okay. With some kind of seasoned meat and other seasonings. And then they basically give you things to put on top, like they give you a variety, like they give you some chunks of tomato, tomato slices, there's also like banana peppers. But I just grabbed a few of the slices of tomato to try on it. So there's no cheese on this, and there's no actual sauce. It's just flat bread with meat on it. <laughs> Lama Poon, my first tasting ever of Lama Poon, ready? Devour, devour. Hmm. Oh, my disgusting pig-like mouth. Don't you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? That is not what I expected. Wow. I taste all kinds of different spices and seasonings in there. I taste something that's sweet. I taste a bunch of stuff that tastes like kind of a little savory. I don't even know what it is, though. I'm going take another bite. Devour. Devour. Mmm. That is nasty. It's good. I don't know what's in it, though. As you can see, now that I've taken a few bites, you can see, see, it's like ground beef. But it's very well-seasoned beef. It's very delicious, but it's sweet. It's like a sweet beef with some kind of a... A seasoning to it, and I don't know what it is. Okay, something I want to show you. This is kind of weird. So when you think like pita bread, do you think this is pita bread? But it is. Pretty crazy. Usually pita bread, again, is like flat bread and you fold it. This is like a giant thing that came with it. Okay, so I'm actually going to rip a piece off. Okay. Devour. Devour. That's good. Mm-hmm. It's soft and fluffy on the inside. That's terrible. That's such a terrible thing. But crusty on the outside. That's how you like bread. Crusty on the outside so you get a little bit of a crunch, but nice and fluffy. That's good shit, dude. Now, what I'd like to do, I actually have multiple things to dip the pita bread into. Okay. Look at this. So, in here, we've got a little side salad that I'm probably not going to eat because... It's just, just basically mixed greens. It doesn't seem like there's anything special to it. Um, I loved red meat. All right. But what we got here... On one side, we've got hummus. I don't know how I can show you this. Oh, here we go. On one side is hummus. On the other side is baba ganoush. Okay? This is the hummus. That's the baba ganoush. So hummus is just chickpeas. It's supposed to be like a puree of chickpeas and other ingredients. I see some seasoning, some olive oil. I think the baba ganoush is made from eggplant. Okay, get a big, big piece of the pita bread, rip it off. Okay, I'm gonna dip this in the hummus. Here's the hummus right here. I'm gonna try to get a little of everything. I'm gonna try to get some of that seasoning. I'm gonna try to get some olive oil. Everything right there. Okay, that looks good. Devour, devour. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa, that's the best I've ever had. First bite. Oh my god. It's terrible. That is absolutely disgusting. You should know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal. Yo, the first bite of that hummus is the most kicking hummus I've ever had in my life. It's tangy. It's got tons of flavor seasoning in it. Dude, that's crazy good hummus. Yo. <laughs> 
That's robust. Yo, I want more right now. Let me fucking unleash the beast. <sighs> That's it, I'm going beast mode. Ah! You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Holy fucking shit. Relax. Some people just can't control themselves. Phil has gouty fat butt. That hummus is fucking really good. Devour. Devour. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. Yo. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. It's, it has tanginess to it. It's got saltiness to it. You can taste the savoriness of the olive oil. The creaminess of the the chickpea. That is fucking good hummus. Devour. Mm. Devour. The other thing I'm going to try is this baba ganoush. I've never had this before. This is supposed to be like a puree of eggplant with other ingredients. Now, I like eggplant. Eggplant is a very common thing that Italians eat. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get some baba ganoush and put it onto this pita bread. I've never had baba ganoush before. Okay, let's see. I'm going to dip it in there. Here we go. Dip it in. Look at that. Okay. Mmm. Devour. Devour. Mmm. Well. That, it's, it's disgusting in my opinion. Like, I'm actually disgusted. It's tangy. It's very wet. It's nowhere near as, like, rich and clumpy as the hummus is. It's way more watery of a puree, for sure. I almost compare it to, like, tuna salad. But actually, it's a little bit more watery than tuna salad. This, I have no idea what's going to happen with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Do you know what this is? I'll tell you what it is. It's dolma. A stuffed, marinated grape leaf. Okay? Okay? It's p tightly packed. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Ready? Here we go. Devour. Devour. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Benefit. oh. And, uh, Whoa, that's flavorful. It's so tangy, though. It's like overwhelming vinegar tangy taste. Like overwhelmingly vinegar tangy taste. Okay? Let's see what... This is what it looks like on the inside. I don't know what that is. I really don't even know what's in it. I can't tell you. It's just very, very tangy, vinegary taste to it. So if you like, like if you like salt and vinegar chips, this tastes like salt and vinegar chips. It, really, it does. But it's got this other taste to it too. I don't know what it is. Here it is. The young leaves of a grapevine stuffed with a mixture of rice, onions, and frequently ground lamb. But many other vegetables can be used, including zucchini, green pepper, cabbage, and onion. Um, so I would say there's definitely rice in there. And... Definitely, you know what it is? That's what that tanginess is. It's lemon juice. That's what that is. It's lemon juice. <laughs> Falafel is basically chickpea hush puppies. All right? You ever had a hush puppy before? It's like a cornbread fried ball. This is made of chickpeas. But, man, mmm, the coating smells good. Yo, the coating smells really good. <laughs> it's like very savory, tasty coating. You ready to try this? Let's see. Okay. Falafel it is. Oh, it's light. It's actually very light. It's a little bit spongy as I squeeze it. Okay, I squeeze it. All right, let's give it a shot. Devour. Devour. Hmm. Man. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Don't you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? That is so full of flavor. Wow. First of all, admittedly, I'll tell you it's greasy. I know it is because I'm just touching it and I can feel grease seeping into my skin. When I bit it, I felt the grease on my lip. <laughs> so this is definitely, like you said, it's the French fries of Mediterranean food. Yeah. This is the, uh, you want to go light on this. You don't want to go too heavy. But it's full. Absolutely full of flavor. It is ri ridiculously flavorful. Falafel.
incredibly flavorful falafel. Mmm, savory, fried flavor on the outside. Robust, lingering spice levels on the inside. Okay? We've got the best hummus I've ever had in my life. Okay? Okay, are we ready for this? I don't know. I'm going to try to mix as much as I can. I'm going to try to get some olive oil. I'm going to try to get some of that spice on the outer side there. All right. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Devour. Devour. Yo. 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 Wow. Whoa. Mmm. Yo. Yo. They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Um, I learned the hard way, okay? We just had a troll in the chat. Celebrate gout 100. So, har har har, Phil had gout earlier this year. They think it's like funny to bring that shit up. Look, another one, fall gout. How is this funny? How's the gout, Phil? Oh my god, here's oh, another one. Thing. How's the gout, the Phil? Wow. <laughs> another idiot. This is great. How's the gout? Oh, the gout. Hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Phil's a gouty fat butt. Phil's a gouty fat butt. Ladies and gentlemen of the stream, ladies and gentlemen watching On Demand on YouTube, people all around the world, let it be known that the combination of this falafel right here with this insanely flavorful hummus right here is absolutely one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. That is the perfect combination. Huge spice, savoriness, tanginess, like every flavor you could think of. But it's not hot spice. My mouth isn't burning. It's just delighted. It's it's happy. My taste buds are happy and dancing in my mouth. They say, why are you talking to these people? Why are you not shoving more of that into your mouth now? Is it what my body is telling every impulse is telling me to eat more right now. I hope you enjoyed another dance. Be tries it. I'll see you ah! next time.